Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. party and letting underage kids drink. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Peachtree City Police say the woman was drunk when she answered the door. As Fox News Christopher King reports, police say one of the teens was passed out inside her home and had to be rushed to the hospital. That mom has a lot of explaining to do. She's the president of her HOA. Police say she wouldn't let them into her home for nearly an hour. They say she put teens, even her own son, in danger by letting them drink. Very clear that there's a house party going on. Lieutenant Chris Hyatt says Peachtree City Police right away suspected kids were drinking when officers got to this home on Haddington Lane. We tried to make contact with the homeowner. Uh, to establish if we had some underage drinking. Hyatt says police last Sunday got calls about a lot of cars parked on the street in front of Danielle Druin's house. She was intoxicated at the point as well. Officers say they asked Druin what was going on. At first, uh, she said, no, there's, there's, there's no drinking here. Uh, it's just a couple of individuals that come over after band practice. Police say they asked to go inside. Meanwhile, there was multiple juveniles that fled from the area out the back of the house, jumping fences and running away. Hyatt tells Fox 5 police asked her if she'd bring out the kids. Then she basically disappeared for almost an hour and ignored all of our attempts to make contact with her at the door again. Hyatt says other parents began showing up demanding to know if their kids were okay. It was very clear that uh, the homeowner was obstructing uh, the progress that we were trying to do, which was check the welfare of the juveniles. Finally, Hyatt says, Druin let officers into her home. They say as many as 30 kids were inside. Hyatt says one of them was passed out in the basement. Breathing, but completely unresponsive. Um, so he was passed out? Immediately requiring medical treatment, yes. Yeah, very surprised Chris Lee lives across the street. Yeah, that's something that doesn't obviously set a good example. The teen who passed out was taken to the hospital. He's doing okay now. Druid is charged with a number of counts, including contributing to the delinquency of minors, felony cruelty to children, and violating the city's social posting law. In Peachtree City, Christopher King, Fox 5.